Come over here, turtles. Show everyone your beautiful little faces. Hey, turtle nerds. Welcome back to another video. Now, in today's video, I thought I'd do something a little kind of fun and talk about what I wish I knew when I first started out turtle keeping or keeping turtles, whatever. So in this video, I'm going to try to highlight some of the most important things, some of the key aspects of keeping turtles that I have learned over the past 10 years, I think it's been. I don't know. I'm an old man now. Now, before we get started with today's video, make sure that you guys hit that subscribe button right down over yonder and hit the little bell notification thing. You get updated, notified when I upload, not updated. What? I don't speak English. Also, I've got new merch that came out. I've got shirts and tank tops and all kinds of cool stuff. There's a bunch of different colors and whatnot. So make sure that you guys go check that out because plenty of people have started getting their merch right now from the original bunch that I sent out to some people. And if you do get your merch, make sure that you send me a photo of you wearing it and I will share pictures wherever Instagram here. Also, if you want to go that extra step to support me besides getting merch, you can head over to my Patreon where I redid all of the tiers. There's new benefits, all kinds of fun stuff, and I just put up a little bonus video on the Terrapins in the springtime. You also get to join this list of lovely people, and you get all kinds of cool stuff. Phone calls with me, I answer all your questions, or bonus videos, or free merch even potentially. With all that stuff out of the way, let's get talking about these little fellas and some things that I wish that I could go back to little 12 year old Dan and say, hey idiot, listen up. The number one thing that I learned off the bat that was probably one of the most important things as far as cost efficiency, as far as how fragile it is, as far as providing as much space as humanly possible for your animal while also keeping it super cost effective is that this right here is not necessary. You don't need to keep your turtles, I'm talking aquatic turtles here, in an aquarium. You don't have to. You can use any container that holds water. These stock tanks here that I use, I can I get these from a uh, tractor supply. And as far as price per gallon, these stock tanks are way cheaper than aquariums. Not only that, but like up here, I use concrete mixing tubs as well for some of my other animals. One of my most popular videos is me just saying why I love using tubs and not aquariums. That's not to say that you can't use an aquarium, but they're heavy, they can break, you know, all that fun stuff. Like you can literally use like concrete mixing tubs or tubs from Home Depot. They make them in 29 gallons, these black tubs with the yellow lids. They have 29 gallons, 55 gallons, and they work really, really well. So that is the first thing that I would tell a new turtle keeper. Usually I would keep my turtles in an aquarium up until they're about probably this size right here, about three, four inches. And then I would upgrade them from a 20 gallon tank to something, you know, way bigger, like a 75 gallon tub. The second most important thing that I would tell a young, young herpetologist Dan is not to worry, not stress as much. So here's the thing. As turtle keepers, we're always really stressed about doing the next best thing, keeping them better, you know, making sure that you have everything under control. What is this spot? What is this line on my turtle? What's wrong with this? I get so many messages. Is this shell route? What is this? What am I doing wrong? Most of the time, most of the time. I repeat things for emphasis. <laughs> Emphasis. If you provide good water quality and you've got good filtration and you're providing the right type of lighting, UVA and UVB, click over here to learn more about, you know, reptile lighting, you're going to be just fine with keeping your turtles. If you provide all that stuff, the odds are your turtle's fine. They're going to be nice and healthy. That little spot, probably a hard water stain. Like, don't worry. If nothing seems to be wrong with your turtle, then nothing's probably wrong with your turtle. For example, Bean, my lovely concentric diamondback turtle, Terrapin. She's outside right now waking up for the springtime. Well, she would have this whistling noise back when I was living in my dorm. She would whistle for some reason, which is a sign of a respiratory infection. So I was freaking out. Took her to the vet and everything, and they said, we don't know. She's fine. Is she acting okay? I said, yeah, she eats fine. She basks normally. She does everything normally. I said, yeah, then don't worry about it. And since then, Bean has still continued to whistle, but she's also gone through brumation outside, and she's still healthy as a horse, and she still whistles sometimes. Like, how do I put it? I would be more worried if she had like more than just one little symptom of a respiratory infection or if she started foaming at the mouth or if she was, her appetite was bad or she was lethargic, you know? Don't worry unless there's a reason to worry. If you're doing things right, 
your turtle is probably fine. They're pretty tough critters in case y'all have not noticed. Another important thing that I wish I knew when I was first keeping turtles is to diversify the diet. People ask me, is this pellet okay? Is this pelleted food okay? Most pelleted foods are pretty good. I mean, you can find out which are better than others by doing diet comparison charts. But most of the time, rather than like just having one type of food, you mix together a whole bunch of different types and that will ensure that your animal, your turtle is getting all different kinds of vitamins and things that maybe not others were providing. If you supplement with like feeder guppies or crickets or worms as well, you're really gonna be in good shape. Just remember, like diversify that diet rather than relying on just one or two different food items. I personally order just a whole bunch of stuff from eBay and then I mix my own turtle foods. Now to add on to that as far as keeping things natural, get your turtles outside. During the summer or the warmer months, odds are you should be able to create some type of outdoor or enclosure and there's varying ways to predator proof it that's a topic for a whole other video which i've actually done before getting your turtles outside should be up over here you know it's very important like one hour of sunlight i have heard is the equivalent of like three hours or six hours under a bulb. You know, there's nothing better than that natural sunlight. And Bean, like her shell has gotten absolutely immaculate from being filled with like this uh, type of fungus. It, it's not harmful to them, it just looks bad. But her shell is now beautiful and it shed the whole thing, all the scoots popped off because I kept her outside in that beautiful natural, natural sunlight. Just trust me, being exposed to the elements, having the rain, like especially box turtles, especially like even sliders, they will love the rain. They'll go start swimming around. They'll feel like they have more room. They just really, really take to it so well. And there's nothing like watching your turtles basking naturally in the sunlight. Oh, it is a really, it's a beautiful sight. And there's a variety of different ways that you can get your animals outside besides just taking them outside every once in a while. I think more importantly is getting them an outdoor setup for the summer and spring months. But yeah, that was a really big thing. I used to keep a 300 gallon stock tank outside that I would cover with bird netting. And man, I took my turtle turtles outside every year. Those are just a couple things that I think will make you a very, very successful turtle keeper. If you keep these things in mind, do research about your specific species of turtle because this will vary based off who you're caring for. I hope this helped you guys out. If you enjoyed, please consider subscribing again and I will see you all in the next one.